Hey guys, Nerdy Comic Kids here, and welcome to another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys what to look forward to in 2017, like comic book movies, films, etc. Now, there are loads of things to look forward to in 2017, and I think it's going to be a great year. Now, 2016, it was a good year, but it's going to get a whole lot better this year. And um, there's loads of films, and at the end of this video, I'm going to be telling you guys what I'm really looking forward to and what I'm not looking forward to. So all the DCU films are going to be at the end, and all the Marvel films are going to be at the start. That's just what's going to happen, except for one DC film, which I'm hoping that's amazing, but probably won't be, because it's DC EU film. Now, I'm starting with a DC film that isn't a DC EU film, which is the Lego Batman movie, which I'm really looking forward to as it's not a DC EU film and it looks like it could be an amazing film as it looks like it's going to be hilarious. Now, since the first trailer for this film, I was really looking forward to it and it obviously comes out on, in February, so um, it's coming up to us quickly and. Um, not made by DCU, so no Zack Snyder. It's a Batman film, so what's not li not to like? Okay, on to the next film, 2017, which is Logan. Now, that's a film which is going to be a sad film for me, but I'm really hoping that it's a good R rating film, as it's the Logan film, which is obviously Hugh Jackman's last outing as Wolverine, and I will probably cry after the film. Now, the R-rated trailer for the film looks incredible and I'm just really looking forward to this film. There's not much else I can say about it and um, I'm just kind of hoping that Deadpool might be in an end credit scene because that would be really cool. But Ryan Reynolds has debunked that and they're just saying maybe he'll be in an end credit scene. But oh well about that. Now, the next film on the list is the first MCU film, which is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, the first Guardians of the Galaxy was a surprise to everyone. Unheard of characters, Marvel somehow makes them into amazing A-listers. It's incredible. I don't know how Marvel do it, but they do it every time. They did it with Ant-Man, they did it with Guardians of the Galaxy. It was incredible. So, um, Volume 2 looks like it could be hilarious, as the trailer for it looks incredible. And it's just a film that I'm really looking forward to. Now, on to the next film, which is Wonder Woman. And this film is something that I really hope is a good film, but it's a DCEU film, so, um, a bit risky... But I really hope it's good because Zack Snyder isn't directing it. So that's a good way to start. But um, so I just really hope it's a good film because I really like the look from the trailers. But all the DCEU trailers have been amazing. And the, those trailers have shown the only good bit to the film. So on to the next film, which is the film that I'm most looking forward to, only because I'm a massive Spider-Man fan and it looks amazing, and Tom Holland's amazing as Spider-Man, which is Spider-Man Homecoming. Now this film comes out in July towards my birthday, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that, and it's going to be a nice birthday present for me. But um, I'm just amazingly looking forward to it as um, Tom Holland, as I said, is an incredible Spider-Man and the, tra the first trailer for the film looks to be incredible. And there's mu not much more I can say about it. Now on to the next MCU film, which also comes out in July, which is um, Thor Ragnarok, which in America I think comes out on the 28th of July. It might be earlier for us in Britain. Now... Doctor Strange being confirmed for it, Hulk's being confirmed with it, and Thor's in it, and Hela's in it. What's not to like? It's a literally a Planet Hulk film with Doctor Strange in it. That that's it, guys. The, the film's gonna be incredible. Now the next film, uh, Justice League, and 
this film if and um, if it doesn't if it isn't good the dceu will not get any better because if um because avengers is what blew up the mceu really mcu really because the films beforehand weren't amazing except for iron man None and of the MCU films were really good except for Iron Man, so Avengers really blew up. And the DCEU films have flopped, so if Justice League isn't good, as I said, nothing is going to happen with the DCEU. And I really hope Justice League's good because I probably like DC Comics more than Marvel Comics based on like how good their comics are. And if the Justice League was good, I'd be really really happy but unfortunately Zack Snyder's directing it <laughs> now that's all the films of the year except for one more which is Star Wars episode 8 now that's a film to really look forward to we keep going with a new Star Wars trilogy and are we going to find out who Snoke is are we going to get a new look on the um, Knights of Ren we just don't know and I'm just so looking forward to this film and um, yeah that's really all I have to say about this film and all the acts are great Daisy Ridley done, has done a brilliant job with Ray John Baker has done a brilliant job with Finn and all the actors are just amazing and I'm really looking forward to it and obviously we're going to see more of Oscar Isaac's character is Poe Dameron and there's just so many questions about the film so I'll probably talk about Force Awakens when they release another trailer for it I know I said Force Awakens um I'll talk more about um, episode 8 when they release a trailer about it so um we're now on to TV shows and there are tons of TV shows in 2017. We have three Marvel Netflix series. We have the new, um, what? That's just, that's how you show them. Okay. We have three Marvel Netflix series. We have the Legion series on ABC. We have Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They're gonna have a new series. We also have the Inhumans IMAX release in September which will carry on in the series and that's something that I'm really looking forward to I did a news video on that um, towards the start of my YouTube channel but um, that I'm really looking forward to we also have on the DC side of things we have all of the um, DC's Legends Tomorrow's Supergirl Flash and Arrow and they've also confirmed the new TV show which will probably be released around 2017 maybe 2018 but they haven't confirmed what it is yet. So I'm starting with a Netflix series which starts with Iron Fist in March then goes to Defenders around summertime and hopefully Punisher will be released in December but that's only if the filming stays on track and we also know that they've started filmings on Jessica Jones season 2 as that's going to be unbelievable because Jessica Jones is my favourite Netflix series. So um, on to Iron Fist, that's obviously released in March and I'm really looking forward to it because it's the last of the Defenders and from the first trailer it looks amazing and there's so much to look forward to. Then on to Defenders, which is released around summertime. That's going to be just really good, and I just hope that that's good, as it's something that can, can, could be an amazing series. Because all Marvel Netflix series have been really good, except for Luke Cage was good. It was just a bit of a dis disappointment. It was a slow series to start with, but they could do something really good with Luke Cage, and the Defenders is something that they could do amazingly with and then on to the last one which is the punisher series which from dead um daredevil season two i'm pretty sure everybody's looking forward to and that that's just it it's, it's just going to be amazing now on to inhumans which has an imax release it's one day release i'm pretty sure and that's something i'm really looking forward to so um yeah because there was a postponed film and they just everything about the film but the Inhumans TV show could be amazing as they did a bit of Inhumans on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. but they didn't go into it in a lot of depth though so um, that's something to really look forward to 
Then on to the X-Men series, which is Legion. And that's also something to look forward to because it's about um, Charles Xavier's son in an ultimate universe who looks like he's been put in so some sort of asylum. And that's also something that I'm really looking forward to because it's just on a network. We also have all the DC TV shows from Supergirl, Arrow, Flash and um, Legends of Tomorrow which are all being renewed again and they also have a non, uh, like they don't have a name for it but they've confirmed a TV show which has a release of 2017 or 2018 so I thought I'd mention it. So that's everything guys for you guys to look forward to in 2017 and it's just going to be a brilliant year guys so every time a uh, film comes out i'll be talking about it talking about trailers so guys i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like down below if you have enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new around here so i'll be back to you soon with all the videos that will be coming out bye guys